Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, <clears throat> I will be reacting to to episode 10 of A Sentence of a Bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that, but anyway. <clears throat> and you got sick, right? Or are you just sick? Okay, because it's really taking over here. Yeah. Oh, bacon sounds so good right now. Yeah. Hmm. Easy. It's not that much, you guys can do it together. Yeah. So they're at the bank.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, not that bad. And plus, you're going to need it for other things. You're going to need to pay for, like, taxes, bills, whatever. You're so cute. <laughs> and don't stress about it. Hmm? Well, here's the thing. What are they doing wrong? Okay. So it needs to have bits of pieces. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you can also use that stuff for something else. Exactly. Two for her and two for Luke. Two for her and two for Luke. Okay. Three for her and three for him. Okay. Three for each. Like baby.
You want to get down? Distrust her. <laughs> yeah, I think you would have came up with a better name than AIO shampoo. <sighs> Yeah, usually around winter, it's very busy. Let's try it.
Yeah, he's not that bad. He has like kind of an attitude problem, but he's not bad. Yeah, he's the one who's got mine out of the house and he's always taking care of it. Oh, that looks so good. What's wrong? Fight it, honey. No, oh, but it just comes out of nowhere now. Go lay down. I don't think so. You just have to let it run at the cord. But see, I feel like somebody is going to give her enough money to where she has enough. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Just remember, don't work yourself out. <laughs> You, oh my god, no! I don't like the way they just ended that. Mm -mm, that's not nice. That is so not nice. Even after you made me tear up after Luke's, like, he wants to do everything in his power to, like, help her. Oh my god. But I hate the fact that you literally, like, ended this episode like that. It was getting so good, and I realized, yeah, we were almost done with the damn episode, but still, come on now. It's so messed up. Like, what the hell? Let her be okay, please. We got three more weeks left with this show. I don't need anything else bad to happen to her. I need her to be just successful. And she's already successful, but I need her to be more successful so that she can be able to fight this and, you know, get enough money so that she can be healthy and happy. But it's just the devouring now. It's just, it's coming at certain times. It's not, it's coming a lot more than it usually does. And I hate the fact that that's happening. And it's just like, you poor girl. You poor defense little girl. And just, she's trying her best. And I love that about her. And no matter what, she keeps going. God, I'm going to cry again. I uh, just don't let anything happen to her, please. Not before this show ends. I, I swear to God, I would be hell of a Oh my of course is raining. Isn't that a little unfair, though? Please, even though, yeah, she's, like, now sick. Okay, so hold up. If the guild master is coming next week to give her at least something to make her feel a little bit better, to have the devouring not essentially come rapidly as it is, because... At first, it was coming very vaguely. Now it's just coming, like, very, 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 very rapidly. And she's getting more affected because it could be a day, and then maybe two or three days go by, and then it comes back, and then maybe a day goes by, and then it comes back. It's coming quicker, and I'm guessing that means, like, slowly but surely, her life is almost over. And I'm just hoping and praying that that's not it, that's not the case, that she'll be able to get everything that she needs done. But at the same time, the way it's going, I'm just so afraid. And the fact is, like, she doesn't, like, Lutz is stepping up as a man. He's not a boy anymore. He is a man. He's stepping up. And he doesn't want her to essentially worry about him. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> I don't want to cry again. But, oh my god, it's just, like, every little thing, no matter what they do, like, shit happens and you just want them to be successful and hopefully i'm just praying that next wednesday we get something happy i mean yes the episode is titled life and death situations and then family meetings and you know it's gonna be a life or death situation that we're getting into now and mine is gonna have to think for the best for not only for herself but for others and there's possibly her family is gonna have to speak for her because of the fact is if she is too sick which she is and she's bedridden and she can't really talk for herself. Who's the next person in line? You have to have your family do something. Because thinking about situations in life or death, like I could use my mother for an example because I think some of you, maybe not all of you know that my mom is a diabetic. And there are certain things that she has talked to me about and that she has talked to um, the hospital about. And that in the end, I'm the one that if something life-threatening happens to her, I have to make those decisions. 
And yeah, it's really hard because my mom had to go through that with my grandma um, several years ago. And I, I'll, just being in that, just imagining like your family member and if your uh, mom or dad have brothers and sisters and dealing with that, the stress of it and everything else and then other things that have gone, gone wrong in your life and you're learning about all, all these other things. Imagine it like that in a way. So it is stressful and I don't want it to be too stressful for them, but you never really know what's going to happen in this next episode. But uh, I, I, I just can't right now. That was just, oh my God, my heart just broke. Cause I'm like, oh my God, they're not going to show. She's not going to get like consumed by the devouring again. Like she's going to be, uh, she was going to be fine. And she was all excited. And it makes me think like, even if it's just like excitement, she can't be excited for certain things anymore. And it just sucks. But who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys with you all next Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys. Thank you.